going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about the future of the Xbox One and the future of the Xbox Connect. Uh, the Xbox One is doing re really well and I'm sure a lot of you guys are out there enjoying it. You know that the, the system is a powerful system. The games on it are fun. And uh, recently at E3 some things changed about the Xbox One. They released an Xbox One without a Connect. Now, uh, this is good news to a lot of buyers out there. A lot of people have been wanting a, a, an Xbox One without the Connect tethered to it. Uh, for a long time, they were saying that the system wouldn't work without a Connect. Now we know there was a lot of fluff. Uh, and uh, I want to talk about what I think is going to happen with the Connect. I think that the Connect is going to die. I think it's it's going to die uh, very swift and, and, and silent death. I think probably within the next six to eight months, Microsoft won't be talking about the Connect for the Xbox One really at all. And the reason I think that is because now that it's not a mandatory thing, now that now the developers can make games without any Connect functionality involved. And uh, if they do that, which obviously they are doing at this point, they're going to be able to optimize their games. The, the, the developers of Destiny have already said that since the Connect has been removed from the you know from the system they've been able to optimize destiny with faster frame rate and uh, better resolution to match the PS4 version of the game so I mean think about that the game previously was not going to look or run as good on the Xbox one the developers have been able to optimize it now using that 10 percent GPU boost for the system and now it can match the PlayStation 4's version. So this might be the end of resolution game. This might be the end of Xbox 720. It might be the end of all that because they said, hey, look, the, the Connect is not, you know, uh, doing as well as we'd like. A lot of people aren't using it. People are having issues with it. It's buggy. It doesn't hear correctly. And it's just, it's just been having a lot of trouble. It's been having a lot of problems. And a lot of people just don't use it. And so at this point, I feel like it's going to die. The developers don't have to use it anymore. They don't have to, you know, build around it. They can completely omit any Connect functionality from their game and from the looks of things and from the sounds of things. They're going to be able to optimize their game. So I think it's good for everybody out there. It's good for gamers. Uh, it, it might not be as good initially for the Xbox One because a lot of people do use it for Skype. I do believe that uh, in the future another version of their camera will be released for the Xbox One for people to just do things like communication and things of that nature but I don't think that the whole motion gesture peripheral thing was ever going to take off I and mean, for me it was all gimmick and I don't think anybody really wants to wave their hands in their living room to play a video game or interact you know the, the menu thing that's not too bad but it's just as easy to pick up a controller I mean turning on your Xbox One turning off your Xbox One with your voice that is neither here nor there and for the people who say that hey look I, I like turning on my Xbox One with my voice what do you do after you turn on your Xbox One? You pick up your controller so it's not not like you you turn it on and then all of a sudden it's all coming you know directly from your your mouth every option that you're gonna do you have to pick up your controller at some point so it's delaying the inevitable and I think it was actually a pretty smart move for uh, Phil Spencer from Microsoft to remove that connect Microsoft Studios Ken Lab has went to Eurogamer and gave them an interview about the way that the Xbox One will work, uh, you know, without the Connect. And he says lots, lots of people ask him, "So you're taking back the GPU reserve for the Connect? Well, does that mean that I can't save, record, Xbox record that?" He's saying that basically all the the functionality of recording and voice gestures are still going to work with the system if you have a Connect, and that things will still be uh, supported. Um, he went on to continue saying that Microsoft has reworked the console into using a flexible system where it can bounce the GPU and RAM depending on what you want to do. He said just because you don't have a Kinect doesn't mean you have more RAM. So basically he went over a lot of things um, in this article. There will be a link in the description uh, concerning the, the Xbox One and the Kinect. And he's basically assuming that developers will still support the Kinect. I just don't think the developers are going to support the Connect anymore at this point. Like I said, um, the Destiny creator Bungie has already confirmed that it's been able to increase the frames per second and resolution of Destiny 
on the Xbox One to match the PS4 version, signaling this long-awaited change could be the move Microsoft needed to, to, to make to close the gap in performance between them and Sony. So it's like um, now you got two systems that probably can, can be comparable and, and very close as far as you know the specs and very close as far as you know the games. If you got the Xbox One and the PS4 both supporting 60 frames per second 1080p video gaming, it'll be that much harder for the typical gamer to pick a console they don't know who to ride with, and it'll it'll come down to the exclusives at that point. But um, I think it's great for everybody out there who's into gaming, who's not into gimmicks. I mean, think about it. One of the biggest selling consoles of all time was the Wii. The Wii was nothing but gimmicks. I mean, if you think about it, it was something new. Everybody wanted to wave these little magic controllers around and be in that video game world and it, it fell flat after a few games you know after a few years people didn't even touch the Wii anymore and the Xbox One's Kinect is the evolution of that I just feel like it's a gimmick it was a gimmick it is a gimmick and now with the developers having the option to push forward creating you know games that actually use a controller that you actually play in the classic way that this connect will die a slow death. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the article. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.